Today is our second day exploring um, what elements are and where they're located in the periodic table. So we're doing um, Daiquiri's Elements Lesson Plan 1. And the girls are working in pairs and they're filling out their chart. They're writing down the element name, location, right or left, the color, what state of matter it's in, and any additional information, such as the atomic number, which is kind of new to them. But they're also writing if they know if it's a metal or non-metal based on where it's located on the periodic table. So they're noticing, um, they're kind of discovering if they're dealing with metals, gases, non-metals, liquids, solids. And what's great is that we wouldn't normally have lithium in the classroom because it is uh, explosive with water as an alkali metal. So this way kids can um, play with elements that they wouldn't necessarily have access to, especially in a middle school lab. Bye. Do you want to scan it for me? Yeah. Which one do you have? Helium? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. So we have a clear cube, which indicates, what does it indicate? A gas. A gas, colorless gas. So we're going to write it in our chart. And we're going to write where is helium located, right or left. On the left. And decide Aww. if it's a non-metal or a metal, and we're going to put that in additional information. Um, it's a uh, metal. So None. helium's going to be over here. But we're doing hydrogen. Oh, are you doing hydrogen? You're doing hydrogen, that's right. I made a mistake. So hydrogen, you're on the left-hand side, but it's a non-metal because it's, it's the one that's by itself. Um, can I don't know if this one where it's... So we have plutonium. It's, it's like over here. Would I write like left? So plutonium is going to be kind of, um, it's actually in the middle, and it's a metal. So, so this, these middle. two bottom rows get put into the center of the periodic table. So you would write middle. And since it's yellow on your periodic table, is it a metal or a non-metal? It's a metal. It's a metal. So we wouldn't normally have plutonium in our classroom, obviously, because it's radioactive. Why don't you scan that one more time? Let's look at it. So now we can um, look at the properties of this this radioactive stub substance and kind of look at the different properties of it. So students are independently working, sharing blocks, and filling out their form. And we wouldn't normally have rubidium in the classroom either, but now you can see what rubidium looks like in real life. Wait, would this be a salad? Yeah, it's going to be a salad.